Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Cincinnati for the home opener. Standing by, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it's dreary and miserable throughout much of the Midwest, but we've got football to perk up our spirits. That's the good news at Paul Brown Stadium. That's where we're at here in Cincinnati. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. Indy. Let's go, Let's go, Heavy. What you got? What you got, Heavy? What you got? Ready? On first and ten. Donaldson. They'll find Juju Smith Schuster. League in receiving yards and a league that throws the ball around like crazy. Number nine's a good number. Off the play fake, Donaldson. And his throw here is incomplete. James Washington was the intended target, but now it's third down. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. So let's all work together on this one to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Here's Johnson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Defensive starters, here they are for Cincinnati. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And that's a ranking that feels good, right? To be number one and be the top of your profession. But... They give to Johnson going right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. From the gun, Donaldson. Complete, it's Johnson. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Here's second and eight. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Play action. Kendall. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. Make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. You know, in that zone, defenses can be the exact same way. And I think we're seeing an example of it here. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Back to throw. Donaldson. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. They'll run it with Johnson. Johnson. 
to throw on second down. Donaldson. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's caught. It's Miller. On the ground, this is Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. About leaning on him, because as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. But it's brought in by Washington. And down inside the 15 he goes. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Looking to throw. Donaldson. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. They begin with a run by Mixon. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a Bengal first down. Throwing on first down. Kendall. And that's going to be incomplete. Back to the air on second down. Kendall. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. They'll run on first down. Mixon. The numbers for Mixon last week. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall. And this one's incomplete. Off the play fake. Kendall. And that is incomplete. The kick by McManus is good. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Yeah. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down. Get it. On third down, Donaldson. And this is going to be incomplete. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down. And getting this just shy of midfield. Off the bootleg. Kendall. They'll roll him out right. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. Now Joe Mixon. And he gets this to the 35. To throw on second down. Kendall, and the catch good, it's Eifert. On third and two, Kendall. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. On first down, Kendall. He completes it to Boyd. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Second and 10. That is caught at the 7-yard line. From the gun on third down, Kendall. A bullet throw, but incomplete. McManus able to put it through. I mean, think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepare? The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off here in the 29, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. On first down, Nixon. Down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets halfway there from the 6 to the 3. Here's a run with Mixon. 
And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. They toss to Mixon. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Are you ready? On first and 10, Donaldson. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. Second and four. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. Throwing on first down. Kendall. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. Now a timeout taken. Back to throw. Kendall. To the left side here for Eifert. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore where it was the Ravens who get the win at home. 38-14, the final score. From there, we head out west to the Golden State. Check on the Rams at home in L.A. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Two touchdown passes there for Jimmy Garoppolo. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they were winners in their ball game as they were able to handle the visiting New York Jets. 28-10, the final. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. On first down, Kendall. He gets this one to Boyd. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. We got this. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks. Now they try the right side here. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three. Operating from the gun. Kendall got a man. It's Ross complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 19. On first down, Mixon trying to find a lane. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. On third down, Mixon, and he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven. Looking to throw, Kendall. Looking for Boyd, and he's got him. Touchdown, Bengals. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? But you're sure. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. From the gun, Donaldson. And this is going to be caught. So they do get it. Are you touched? He's patting his cart for his He's touched. 
respect. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Off play action. Kendall. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. On second down. Mixon. He'll get three. Off the play fake. Kendall. Bearing one out for Boyd. And that will be incomplete. One side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. Hey, but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the over from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Back to throw. Donaldson, that's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall got his man, it's Eifert. Operating from the gun, Kendall. And Eifert has it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. On first and 10, Kendall got a man open. It's Ross. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. Second and one. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. From the gun. Kendall. Open man is Ross complete. And they'll get him down. From the gun again to Mixon. And he stopped after a gain of one. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Off play action. Kendall rolling to his right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The kick by McManus is good. Porter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. This quarterback now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Donaldson. Incomplete come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Back to throw now on second and ten. Miles Jack with a sack. Let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. And the interception earlier now is sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. On fourth down. Donaldson, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. William Jackson with a pick. And some room to work. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TV. Throwing after the interception. Donaldson. Johnson's got it complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second and six. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Maxwell. The Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to throw. Donaldson got an open man. It's Washington. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Back to throw. Donaldson. 
And brought down the Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. He finds his man, Johnson. That was a nicely run slant route and, with the, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Under pressure again, and down he goes and gets up his second sack of the afternoon. Looking to throw, Donaldson. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. I think at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Throwing again on second and ten. Donaldson, open man here is Gentry. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there. Eight, three, 44. Come on. Two. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the Bengals... They use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.